Well, in spite of me having marked the ignition timing out very carefully and strobed it to get it bang on on this BSA A65 Spitfire Hornet, I was having terrible trouble getting a reliable tick over. It would either sort of race away too fast or gradually slow down and pack up. Um, I'm not saying it's the best tick over I've ever had on a BSA A65, but I've got one now. And if you can see just there, let's see, I've just put a white mark on the stator plate. You'll see they're out of step with each other a little bit because I marked it as it was, uh, where according to the strobe it was spot on. And I thought maybe I needed to retard the ignition timer a little, perhaps that would improve the tick over. Um, so I nudged it back a couple of degrees, and that actually made it worse. So I thought, well, I'll try it the other way then. So I've actually advanced it by the amount that those marks are out of step, which is probably just a couple of degrees. <coughs> and um, that seems to have made quite a big difference. It's not the best tick over I've had on an A65, but um, things seem a lot better than they were. I'll just switch it on and start it up. on the throttle. I think I can live with that. Excuse me, it's uh, supposedly got 10.5 to 1 compression as well. That's not too bad at all. Trying to get rid of its side panel here after the ride. Someone put the little clip there all the way around. And they restore the bike. I think the owner's going to be stuck with the side panels anyway. cover anymore. I'll put it back on though and uh, the job's are good and I think at last. 